Hi, my name is Bob Winters and I'm a component specialist with Kendall Electric. Today I want to talk to you about a rock wall automation technology called GuardLink and how it can benefit you by taking the mystery out of your safety system. By the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of how this technology will reduce your operating costs without a lot of initial cost or effort. So let's get started. So traditional e-stop circuits used to be multiple e-stops, multiple door interlocks, ran in series, no auxiliary indication. So if a door vibrated loose or if somebody inadvertently hit an e-stop, this could be confusing on which door was open or which e-stop was pressed. You walk down the line, you open and close multiple doors until you find the one that is, that is the culprit. So that's how the way things used to be. But now today things are different and thanks to GuardLink we can diagnose quickly which individual door or interlock has been opened. So with GuardLink I am taking multiple devices, safety devices, and I'm putting them in series, plugging them into taps using cord sets to connect the taps in series and go back to a safety relay. The safety relay will handle 32 nodes per channel and it has two channels. The taps can be up to 30 meters apart with a total length of 1,000 meters. Since there's two channels, I can put 32 devices on the second channel as well. So I could have a total of 64 devices on one safety run. That's a, that's a pretty large run, but it's possible. There is also the possibility of taking that second channel and configuring it for a light curtain or an e-stop or any regular safety device. So I could and that together with the guard link channel and be able to um, have a, a separate device hooked up, say a global e-stop. So with this this setup here, if you're familiar with SensorGuard, SensorGuard could be wired in series. Every different SensorGuard tap that you added, not tap, but SensorGuard sensor, would add 18 milliseconds. So your response time would get slower and slower as, as you would add more sensor guards in series. With this system, with GuardLink, there is an adder for response time for each tap, but it's only 35, millis or 35 microseconds. So that reduces your response time greatly over putting sensor guard in series. Taps come in two different flavors, electromechanical and solid state. Just to give you an idea of what this looks like, um, you can see by this picture that I have non-contact interlocks, I have tongue interlock switches, guard locking, light curtains, e-stops, and even cable poles. So any safety device I can put on this and run in series, as long as they're all stopping the same function. This is not a zone type application, this is all devices do the same stop function. But what's cool about this is which I'll talk about in a minute, is I can put an Ethernet adapter on there that you see to the left of your screen and this will take it to the Logix controller and then I can get full diagnostics back to my controller, I can display it on a panel view, and I can get instant notification. If we look at the GuardLink uh, trunk, you'll see that there's four wires. It's just a standard, same cable that you would use for a sensor a standard four wire cable, two of the lines are zero volts, 24 volts, then the one labeled CLU, it, that is command lock and unlock, so that's for guard locking devices. That's, a, that's the wire that my signal goes on. I can unlock all of them at once, or I can unlock them individually. And then finally there's the guard link signal itself, which is the communications uh, portion of this network. So once I add that Ethernet adapter, then I can put it in my Logix controller. I have an AOP for it. I can easily access my tags to know which device is doing what. And, and then I can program my panel view to display anything I want as far as the status of these doors. So gone are the days of walking up and down the line and opening and closing doors. Now I can do it all in an instant and show on a screen for an operator to not even have to call maintenance to come back and figure out what's wrong with the machine. And if you notice in this slide, I have a Logix controller, but it's not a safety controller. That's because the guard link portion of this, the right-hand right side, all the red, that's the safety. 
That relay is the safety relay and it will control your K1 and your K2 outputs, whatever stopping, you know, for stopping the motor load or, or opening a dump valve or whatever you're doing with it. The left hand portion of, of the screen is all diagnostics and all for being able to tell what's going on with your safety system. In addition to, I can send lock and unlock commands from the, from the controller and uh, because that's not a part of the safety function. Um, next, I'm going to show you a live video and then we'll wrap it up. So now, as you can see here, I have my guard link demo. I have a sensor guard. I have a guard locking switch, the 440G LZ. And I have an e-stop. Each one of these is tied into a tap, plugged into a tap. And you can see the taps are all green, so everybody's happy. I open my sensor guard. You can see this guy up here turned red. These are flashing. So we do have at the door or on machine diagnostics as well as if you want to use a, a panel view. Um, notice this is red. All the link lights are red, telling you that, that uh, something's down or something's open in the network. Uh, if I hit my e-stop, this one turns red. And I can't open this because it's locked right now. So these are all ran in series, going through a loop, and then tied back into this guard link relay. And then, like I said earlier, this controls the outputs. So this controls your K1, K2. This is all your safety on this side. This is the Ethernet adapter. We put that on there, and then we can go over to the controller, and I'll show you that next. You can see on the screen that I have a graphical representation of the gates and the e-stop and the taps themselves. So I'm going to open the sensor guard and notice the gate change state in the graphical image. And same with the e-stop. And then lastly what I wanted to show was you can unlock this guard locking switch and now I'm able to open it and close it and then I can lock again. So this makes the most sense to me. If you're going to use guard link, you're probably going to want to have a Logix controller, not a safety controller, just a standard Logix controller and a panel view to represent. You know, you don't have to use graphics. You can you can use descriptions, you know, door number 32 is open or or however you want to do it. So to summarize, GuardLink is a technology that I can have multiple devices, whether they're e-stops or light curtains or guard door switches, multiple devices plugged into taps, wired in series, plug and play, back to a safety relay that does the stopping function. And I can throw that Ethernet adapter on there and take it back to a controller, and then I have complete instant notification on all my devices on my safety system. All the guesswork is taken away. I said in the beginning of this video this would reduce operating costs and I think you can see how because you're going to reduce downtime. There will be no more scratching your head on what device is open, you know, what e-stop got pressed or what door got left open. So, and it's the installation time is going to be reduced because it's all plug and play. And because it's plug and play you're going to reduce your wiring errors. Be sure to check back because I'm going to be making another video that shows you how to actually integrate it into Studio 5000. You're going to find out it is super easy to do. Hey, thank you for attending our webinar. If you would like more information on today's topic, please contact your Kendall Electric account manager or automation specialist. Or you can visit our website at kendallelectric.com to find a location nearest to you. Stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on Facebook or LinkedIn. Thank you, and we'll see you on our next Kindle Quick Connection.